Hello, my name is Amir Regev. I'm the VP of uh, Quality and Reliability at Wibit Nano. So here we have a booth and I'm going to show you in a few minutes uh, our uh, latest technology that we developed together with CEA Leti. We have a good collaboration, 10 years collaboration. We have team, joint team working together. So here you can see our wafer. Uh, each wafer contains uh, dice, if uh, you can see inside. Uh, thousands of dice per wafer, and each wafer contains millions of bit cells with our RERAM technology where we store the information. This technology is very good for embedded technology. So uh, here I'm going to show you um, the cross-section, how it's built, because uh, we ve need very high magnification. We cannot see that on the, on the camera, on the naked eye. So we prepared an illustration. This is a photo of the bit cells from top view and here we're doing a cross section so you can see here um, the layers that it made of and we have our uh, rerun layer in this rectangular and uh, this is a magnification of actually an illustration of the layers um, that uh, it contains so we have electrodes and uh, we have the data between bottom electrode and top electrode and we have the switching layers inside. In this switching layer, we are storing the information, and this is the heart, the core of their technology. Uh, this is where we have the, the conductive filament. I'm going to move to this uh, demo in order to illustrate its operation. Looking at this illustration, uh, we can see how it works. We were here, and now it's the same layers here, and uh, we are going to the atomic and subatomic level, actually. Uh, you can see here, the, uh, we took the oxygen from there, atoms, and then we have vacancies and we can have a current conduction between the bottom electrode and the top electrode. And now we have a logical uh, state of one. When we want to change the state to zero, all we have to do is have a disruption in this conductive filament, disconnect a few atoms, a few ions, and s restore back the oxygen from the oxygen vacancy, and now we don't have a connection between um, bottom electrode and top electrode, so we actually have a state of zero. And this is a reversible process. We can do this thousand and hundreds of thousands of times, many, many times. We can change the state from zero to one, from one to zero, and uh, this is how we store the information. So we completed the qualification at various temperature, at uh, various uh, sizes, various product range, and now this technology is ready for production. Thank you very much.